Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to draw and interpret graphs of the quantity of reactants or products in a chemical reaction. You should then be able to calculate the mean rate of a chemical reaction. Now this sounds a bit tricky but the actual ideas are relatively straightforward. I'm showing you a chemical reaction here. As you can see the reactant is turning into the product. If we plot the quantity of product formed against time then we get this graph. Now the slope of the line gives us an idea of the rate of reaction. The steeper the slope, the faster the reaction. So as you can see, initially the reaction is very fast. We can tell that as we're making a lot of product in a short amount of time. That's because we've got a large number of reactant molecules, so lots of them are reacting and forming the product. Gradually the slope of the line becomes less steep. This tells us that the reaction is slowing down. In other words, the rate of the reaction is decreasing. Now that's because a lot of the reactant molecules have already reacted and turned into product. This means there are fewer reactant molecules available to react. At the end, we can see that the slope of the line is now zero. In other words, the line is flat. This tells us that at this point the reaction has stopped. And that's because all of the reactant molecules have already reacted. Now you'll notice that in this reaction we're measuring the quantity of product formed in grams. But if our product's a gas, then we'd measure the quantity in centimetres cubed. So as we've seen, we can measure the quantity of product formed in a chemical reaction. Another way of looking at the rate is to measure the quantity of reactant used. In this case, the graph looks like this. Again, we can see that initially the rate is fast. Then the reaction slows down and finally the reaction stops. Now in the exam you could be asked to calculate the mean rate of a reaction, so we're going to look at that now. Here's a sample question. In a chemical reaction, 60 grams of product was formed in 15 seconds. Calculate the mean rate of reaction. Now to do this, we use this calculation. The mean rate of reaction equals the quantity of product formed divided by the time taken. The quantity of product formed is 60 grams, and the time taken is 15 seconds. 60 divided by 15 gives us a mean rate of reaction of 4 grams per second. Here's a question for you to try. In a chemical reaction, 20 grams of product was formed in 40 seconds. Calculate the mean rate of reaction. Pause the video and try this yourself. So the mean rate of reaction is the quantity of product formed divided by the time taken. We've got 20 grams of product formed in 40 seconds. 20 divided by 40 gives us a mean rate of reaction of 0.5 grams per second. Now we can also calculate the mean rate of reaction from the quantity of reactant used. Here's a sample question. 30 grams of reactant was used in 10 seconds. Calculate the mean rate of reaction. So to do that, we use this calculation. The mean rate of reaction is the quantity of reactant used divided by the time taken. So the quantity of reactant used is 30 grams and the time taken is 10 seconds. Dividing 30 by 10 gives us a mean rate of reaction of 3 grams per second. Here's a question for you to try. 150 grams of reactant was used in 75 seconds. Calculate the mean rate of reaction. Pause the video and try this yourself. OK, so the quantity of reactant used is 150 grams and the time taken is 75 seconds. Putting these into the equation gives us a mean rate of reaction of 2 grams per second. Remember you'll find plenty of questions and rates of reaction in my revision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to draw and interpret graphs of the quantity of reactants or products in a chemical reaction. You should then be able to calculate the mean rate of a chemical reaction. 